In this module, we're going to talk about sorting and filtering within Google Sheets. Uh, sorting and filtering gives you some options on how you can kind of take your data and answer your questions. You can analyze this data pretty quickly using sorting and filtering. Uh, sorting allows you to order your rows by a certain criteria, you know, order by a particular column or several columns or reverse order. And filtering allows you to display only certain values in your spreadsheet. They're still there, but they're only showing certain values. So using sorting and filtering, you can actually answer some questions pretty quickly, pretty easily. Uh, you can even create multiple views so that you can have different ways to look at your data. And you can also present your data much more effectively if you're only showing a subset that you're only interested in. So sorting, the simple way is to go into data and there are there is a sort range option in the data menu. Um, that works and you can, we'll see how that works in just a moment but you can also use the filter option. So under data, sort range, if you first you have to hit command A or control A depending on your on your if you're on a Mac or Windows, but you want to select all of your data, then use that data sort range option and that will allow you to sort and you'll see this little dialog like you see in the bottom right corner. Uh, if you select data has header row, which it typically will, uh, you'll be able to sort by particular headers instead of the entire column. And you can sort by columns, you can sort uh, multiple columns, you can add many columns here, you can reverse sort. Uh, it gives you some basic options, but filtering does work a little bit better. You know, if you go to data, turn on filter, uh, you can actually apply a lot of filtering capabilities. So you can sort very easy. You can see you just get an option for each column. Uh, each column is going to have this tiny little icon that allows you to apply filters. Um, you can filter by different conditions. So you can use formulas or use special conditions to filter your data, or you can filter by particular values. And you can see here we have several values already selected for this, uh, this little screenshot. You can filter by conditions and you can see, as we mentioned, you know, you've got a lot of options here. Uh, you can select one of many or you can use custom formulas as well. And in, a, in one of our next videos, we'll get into those different options. You can also choose alternating colors, which is nice if you need to format your data and make it a little bit easier to view. Uh, under format alternating colors, it kind of just applies a, a great uh, set of formatting to your sheet. So, you know, it's easier to tell which row belongs to which row and it just kind of makes your data look a little bit better. You can also apply conditional formatting if you need to call out particular values or you need to take a look at particular things or you need to make sure that you know certain things are highlighted uh, or maybe you want to just identify where there might be a problem in data. Conditional formatting allows you to apply a format based on some criteria, you know, and you've got a lot of options there, but you can apply that format across a lot of different data. So, you know, you can select everything and, you know, anywhere where you see a zero, for example, you can apply uh, these formatting rules and you can have multiple formatting rules apply to the same set of cells. You also have options for data validation and data validation gives you this capability to uh, allow a user to pick different options from a, a cell. Uh, it also allows you to validate, you know, that there's uh, data in a certain uh, in data of a certain type, you know, so something like we want to make sure that this is a number or this is text or this is a date. Uh, so data validation also allows you to kind of make sure that your data is sound and that it makes sense. Uh, but we'll get into each one of these different options in the videos for this module. Um, so stay tuned, keep an eye out for those videos and thank you for watching.